Hey, welcome back. It's Rob here. So, next thing I'd like to do would be a little different, actually. Uh, we've done all this work, and I have been committing, you know, every time we do something, I've been committing it to source control. So, I've got, I've actually got a Git repository locally that has all of the changes. And uh, by request, I'd like to share them with you. So, how do we do that? Uh, I figure I'll uh, show you how I shared it in case that's interesting to you. Although you, uh, if you just want this source, um, at the very end of this video, we'll share the URL that you need to get it. So let's start by bringing up a terminal window. Uh, like I said, every time we do a source code uh, commit, uh, we are actually pushing these changes to a local Git repository. And where that is, is uh, it's actually where the project is. So I'll just go documents and I'll go image play and I'll go git and I'll go the first thing I want to do is git log and this shows all of the changes that have been committed. So we can see you know the last thing and the thing before that etc etc all the way to the very initial commit. So that looks good. Next thing we want to do is we want to get uh, we want to <laughs> get, uh, we want to go to some repository that we can push this my repository up to. So let's uh, do that in Bitbucket. So I'm going to go to Google Chrome and bitbucket.org. I have an account there. And uh, what I did was I went into repositories and I went create repository. And it's as simple as this. I said, uh, image play and this is not a private repository it is a git repository and I want create now as you can see oh you've already got a repository well that's because I did this a little earlier and I don't need to create it so I'll just cancel that right now we can just open that repository image play here we go cool um, so this is where I was after creating it. I didn't do anything. I just, you know, created it and get you right here. And uh, I really like how Bitbucket makes it very easy to find out what to do. So it says from the command line, I have an existing project. And that's exactly what I have. So I'm going to open this up and it tells me what I need to do. And it says go to your repo directory. Well, we've already done that. And then it says add a remote. So git add remote blah 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 blah. So this is the one it gave me from my account and I'm going to do that. So I've just added a remote. So what does this mean? A remote is a, another repository that I can interact with. Uh, now I can push my repository up to the remote. We're going to give that a shot and there it goes. Now I do want to mention something in case you're doing something similar. Uh, at this point the keys need to be set up. There has to be a private key, public key pair set and I don't want to go through all of that. Uh, once that's set up uh, that'll work just fine. Okay, finally we want to do this command here. Push! Everything is up to date. Awesome. Okay, so now if we go um, back to my repositories, image play, looks pretty good. And here, right here, is the URL that I can share with everyone. So I'll just copy that and now anyone who wants to get access to this repository just needs this URL and they can set up their own um, they can they can clone it that's exactly what they can do they can clone this and um, and share this source so hope you like this video please feel free to um, go up and grab this source uh, if you're working on yeah go up and grab the source and play with it. Um, hope you enjoyed this so far and uh, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. I guess I'll talk to you in the next video. <laughs> okay, have a good one. Cheers.